they do, Mary? They made a world for us. And we get to experience it. Wow! Good morning, everybody. We're about to start a few really fun days. Gosh, she's so freaking cute. You cute little fucker. You'll notice that both Brian and I are wearing hats, and that's because we both desperately need haircuts. <laughs> yeah! Brian's gonna get his haircut today by my hairstylist, who I've been with for several years. Nobody has ever, ever been able to work with my hair, as well as Alex from Barbara and Barbara. I've been telling Brian to see Alex for years. It's finally happening today. So Brian <laughs> couldn't get an appointment with Alex till today, which happened to be the same day that I have an appointment with Alex. Finally, it's gonna be cut today. Say goodbye to this. Then, tonight, we're gonna see one of our absolute favorite musical artists of all time in concert and that is emily king she just had a new album come out so yeah it's gonna be a good day Ooh, i definitely don't need this jacket i'm gonna leave my jacket bye butterfly pea flower yeah it's piss you can like muddle this up and infuse any any liquid really with butterfly pea flower and it turns it blue or purple if you use a lot <gasps> and then i'm going to Put the different things that I make into like little elixir bottles. Yeah. So fun, Brian. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I'm by myself because Brian's getting his haircut, and my haircut is an hour from now. So I'm waiting for Brian at a Mexican restaurant by myself, and I'm drinking a mojito by myself. I don't think I've ever gotten a drink alone in a public institution before, but the guy talked me into it. It's sounded fun. Look how cute he looks. Go ahead. Let me know, have you ever seen someone so cute before? I'm so happy to be on a little summertime patio date with my husband. Say goodbye to this hair. Yeah, artist. Yeah, my hair turned out so freaking perfect, as always. Look at it, it's like honey. Brian's gonna pick me up from this Walgreens, and we're gonna go see Emily King. We're enjoying Emily King. <laughs> Just a note to yourself? Like yeah. Right hey, this is a clip of us enjoying Emily King. I just called to tell you, tell you I love you, tell you I love you. I just called. I bought a shirt. It's already on my body. Brian bought a shirt as well. It's already in her purse. Let's go, everybody. Did you have to pay that fine? You were dodging all that time. Are you still dizzy? probably like March 12th or something because it was two days later that they shut everything down and we're about to do CPO on Saturday. Yeah, it's perfect. And they just took a photo together the other day. 
Me and Emily? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, Mark sent it to me, and I was like, God fucking damn it. Darren <laughs> sent me a picture with Emily King once. He was like, look. I'm like, I, I don't think you understand. I want her to absorb me into her skin. I like, I, I need to be as close to her as possible, which I think is like our molecules mixing. So I don't usually get jealous about like celebrity shit, but for her, yeah. Happy Saturday. flipping out. It's the most beautiful, amazing world I've ever seen. I took the entire day off of work so that we can play Zelda, make arts and crafts for Zelda party tonight, and make our recipes for Zelda tonight. It's just a 100% Zelda day. And I put the little vacation icon on my Slack. I'm letting everyone know I'm on vacation right now. Where am I vacationing? Fucking high rule, baby. Taking a quick break to play with Luna outside and I did some weeding. It's nice that it's raining all day because it makes you feel less bad about playing a video game all fucking day. But it's also nice to get fresh air. One of the things about Zelda is that you're running around in these beautiful nature landscapes. It makes you want to get out there and like explore. It's just a fucking fantastic game. I'm riding a high right now. So is Luna. Hey, you. Jade and I are at Michael's. It's a dangerous place. It's a vulnerable it's a dangerous place. Place. You need to go with someone you trust. <laughs> it's a vulnerable place. I can go with Jade. She's seen how much I've spent here before. She might have been shocked at the time, but now she knows no, it. No, now I, I've never been shocked. I've only been supportive. Ooh. The real world. Okay, y'all. I've been making these little Korok guys out of polymer clay. So I have all this clay here. I wanna try and make one for everybody that's gonna be at the party. And then you can like put them in your little plant pots, you know? Infused this gin with these butterfly pea flowers, and so it took a clear gin and turned it into this like <laughs> dark, <laughs> dark purple. Dark, dark purple. Let's try it a little bit first and see. Ooh, look at how it turned. Oh, it's perfect. Super purpley. Wow, that's beautiful, Bri. It's great. Oh my gosh! Yay! Okay, they're gonna go in the oven now. They're so cute. I almost don't want to give them away. I want to keep them all. See, this is what they're for. You like stick them in a little plant pot. And then people will look over and be like, wait, is that a Korok in your plant pot? And then it'll go, yeah, ha, ha, you found me. Okay, now I'm making these little Korok kind of headband mask things. But basically it'll be like with like a leaf. Do you know what I'm saying? And we'll wear them up here. It'll be cute. I'm like already feeling tipsy from my little soup that I took. <laughs> See, it's a little leaf. That's good. You wanna try that? What's this one? This is a spiced ginger Negroni Ooh. made with spiced rum, Aperol, ginger liqueur, and sweet vermouth. What's this elixir? Spiced is in the name, so I was gonna maybe make that the spicy. Okay, here's my outfit. This is a shirt I got off of Etsy, and I thought for a minute it was gonna be another scam. Remember in December I got scammed on Etsy? I thought it was gonna be a scam because it was like, your package has arrived, and it hadn't, and then when I went to go say something to the seller, the seller didn't exist anymore. It did end up coming, so I guess it wasn't a scam. I have tears in my eyes because I just started thinking about the beginning of the game. All right, anyway, in Zelda, you can make these different recipes. You like catch fish and you pick mushrooms and stuff and then you can go up to a special pot and cook and it's like the most fun. So I'm making fish and mushroom skewers. However, everyone at this party pretty much is vegetarian or vegan. So I'm going to make hand pies that are shaped like fish 
and my good friend Sarah Smale gave me her fish cookie cutter. So I'm gonna make hand pies that are actually just sweet potato and curry. Then I'm gonna stick them on a skewer with some mushrooms. Now I don't like mushrooms at all, but- These are the things I, you do for your friends. These are things you do for your friends. I don't know how to cook them. I don't like them, but I'll see what I can do. And then I'm gonna make a couple of vegan ones for Jade's brother who's vegan. And then I'm gonna put some cream cheese into some of them to make them kind of cheesy as well. I feel ginger negroni which is going to be the spicy elixir i put a little chili powder in it on top of this recipe here and now i'm gonna filter that chili powder out yay looks like i can only pour a little bit at a time. Okay. i'm gonna start assembling my little fishy babes i would not call this process easy and i would not say that it's going well but here are the little fishy things what i'm really trying to do that's not working is like dye them a little bit green so that we know which one's vegan it's like slightly green. Oh my God. <laughs> I just couldn't get it to like spread right. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Race. These look like shit. What are we looking at? <laughs> are these done? Yep. Well, it looks good. I mean, you know, my only fear is that they'll fall apart on the, because they're not sealed on the sides. You know what I mean? I don't know if I cooked these mushrooms. Oops. Nice. It looks good. Ooh, this so is good. your worst nightmare. <laughs> Meredith hates mushrooms. But she's doing this so that it huh? looks like the freaking video game. I tried my best, everybody. Do your best and forget the rest. It, it looks good. Does I it? Think, yeah, I think it looks good. I'm just laughing that we're being so dumb about I just, this. I wish I'd put the food coloring into the dough. That's the way we should have done it. Oh, yeah? Look how freaking cute my husband is. He's wearing my overalls. Look at these little kitties. Look at this. Oh my goodness. You do look like Luigi. A little Luigi Cora. Skybound for my hometown to the North Shore on a Sunday. I give a kiss to my lady friend. She's a sweet talk and a sweet taste. Give thanks for my family, thanks to my friends, I'm getting shit faced. Oh well, this Long Island, it's a desolate place. Far cry right from my first love, Michigan, sweet talk with my sweet taste. A long way from the long lost dreams, have broken on a California freeway, this Brooklyn. Later, oh, I'm gonna um, yeah. ask Eric if Did you he wants his arm recreated, and when he says yes, I'm gonna make him kiss me. <gasps> Are you excited nice. to kiss her? Yeah. No. There's a big problem. And what? I don't know how, but I've lost one of the placemats. <gasps> As you can see, it was a perfect circle, and for some reason, one is missing. Uh oh, it's a Korok puzzle! I think I found one. It's a little bit. Ah! And see, he was by this mushroom, which got picked up. And, ah! and it's rightful place. It's a little out of place. Oh my no. god. And now, and now you may have a chance. It's perfect. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> I found one. I found one. Yeah, he was in a pot that had no plant. Where's the plant? It's not there. He must have put it somewhere. <laughs> So each one of these
these smaller ones is basically the size of like a single drink. There's the electro elixir. What does it do? Wow. It protects you against those bats. But really, it's a Moscow mule. The hearty elixir, as you can see here, will restore your vitality. But really, it's an Aperol spritz. It's a liqueur called uh, Modiri. It's the energizing potion. So like, nice. you know when you're trying to tame that um, spirit horse in that one pond? Yeah. You gotta like- You need the stamina. You need some more stamina. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep your ass warm and it's a gin tonic. It's a chili, uh, chili elixir. And this is a spicy elixir. The magnet was low. <laughs> if anyone has any questions, I'll tell them. I'll tell them what's up. Because he's wearing Meredith's overalls, so he's like, they're up to his shins. <laughs> now, listen, Eric just battled the construct. It's, it's an ancient technology made by the Zonai people. They are the sky people. <laughs> afternoon everybody since we've been so busy lately and we spent so much time yesterday getting ready the place was a mess so oh look hi sweetie you laying on a blankie she's so freaking cute i let brian start his game of zelda and play it for several hours while i cleaned and folded so much laundry i made a small but bigger than a hand pie pie out of the leftover pie crust and stuffing. So heating that up for lunch. Anyway, we're just gonna keep doing stuff like this. I'm hoping to hop back onto my Zelda game. Then we're gonna go to, to Theo tonight. We're coming for you, Theo. <laughs> we're playing more Zelda and we're eating our Korok treats from yesterday. Uh -huh. I just wanna share a fun little thing that happened this week. Brian decided to get us some blue aprons and they forgot to send a bunch of ingredients. Sometimes it's kind of fun when they do that. Then we get like a free meal out of it. Cause like we just let them know, hey, you forgot to send the ingredients. And they're like, oh my gosh, next meal's on us. And it's nice. But then like the ingredients that they did send, I get to just use. And now it's like, I have free sugar snap peas. I know it's dumb. I sound like such a little cheapskate, cheapskate. Why does that feel weird? But it's like those little moments, like when you're walking down the street and you find a $5 bill, it's like, oh, I just need to like savor this. I'm just gonna saute a bunch of veggies with some lemon and basil and feta and rice. But not today. Here's my concert outfit, but I'm wearing a tank so that as soon as I get there, I can just buy a Theo shirt and put it on immediately. So we went to school with Theo. We all went to college together. Theo played in a band with Mark called The Midnight Special. Look at this sweet angel. I still remember the day that he first got to do his own solo song at the Midnight Special concert. And we we're all like, what the fuck? This is like the most talented person I've ever known. Like I was like, I know him. I've spent spent many a weekend hanging out. And he's that talented? Because before he was just playing backups, he was just playing backup guitar. Had no idea what we were working with. He's consistently one of my most listened to artists. My brother often says that Romance Without Finance is a perfect album. It's a perfect album front to back. And when I texted Theo and was like, hey, is there any way that you would let me use some Romance Without Finance music in some of my videos? And he said, yes, I was like, Wow, I can't believe you just said yes to that, but thank you. I think my underwear is hanging on the door. Interesting. No, never mind. It's Brian's ski mask. <laughs> he needs to bring it downstairs so he hung it on the doorknob. Okay, anyway, so that's our Theo story. And then our brother-in-law, Nick, is Theo's sound guy. We get to see Nick tonight as well. And he's been on tour with Theo. No, you're not going anywhere. You're staying right here with me. I'm excited to see Theo, I'm excited to see Nick. And then we're gonna go home and go to bed because we've been staying out really late every night. And by really late, I mean till like 11. And for us, that's like really late. Oh. Ooh, Brian's gonna wear his Emily King shirt to the Theo concert.
and that was just an amazing show. My face hurts from smiling. My throat hurts from just guttural Legs screams. Hurt from standing. Legs hurt. My heart hurts from beating so hard because I'm so happy. Great couple days. Mm -hmm. Meredith just saved my life. The biker was coming in the dark without a light on. And to let me know, Meredith grabbed my elbow and went, ha ha. <laughs> you know, I just went, you know, <laughs> exactly what one does. She was like imitating the bike horn that the person didn't have apparently. <laughs> Good morning. I just wanted to show y'all my little editing setup right now. Here I am just editing amongst the birds. I've got my assistant over there checking things out. What a freaking dream. Anyway, it was a perfect few days, an amazing weekend. Happy Zelda to all who celebrate. I'll see y'all next week. I love you. This old sunken vessel is where I sleep.